Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Moli of the 16th of October 2024. Essence Sweet children, you have personally come in front of the mother and father to receive limitless happiness. The father removes you from immense sorrow and takes you into immense happiness. Question Only the one father stays in reserve and doesn't take rebirth. Why? Answer Because there has to be someone who can make you Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan. If the father were to take rebirth, who would make you beautiful from ugly? This is why the father stays in reserve. Question. Why are the deities constantly happy? Answer. Because they are pure. Because of their purity, their activities were reformed. Where there is purity, there is peace and happiness. The main thing is purity. Om Shanti. The spiritual father explains to you sweetest, long lost and now found children. He is the father and also the mother and father. You used to sing, you are the mother and father and we are your children. Everyone continues to call out. Whom do they call out to? To the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. However, they don't understand which immense happiness they received through his mercy or when they received it. They don't even understand what that immense happiness refers to. You are now sitting here in front of him and you know how much immense sorrow there is. This is a land of sorrow, whereas that is a land of happiness. It doesn't enter anyone's intellect that they were very happy for 21 births when they were in heaven. You did not experience this previously. You now understand that you are sitting in front of that Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the Mother and Father. You know that you come here to claim the sovereignty of heaven for 21 births. You now know the Father and you have also come to understand the whole world cycle from the Father. Previously we had immense happiness and then we had sorrow. This remains in the intellects of each one of you number wise. You students should always remember this but Baba sees that you repeatedly forget it and this is why you wilt. Your stage becomes like that of a touch-me-not plant. Maya attacks you. You no longer have the happiness that you should have. The status is number wise. You all go to heaven, but there too they range from kings to paupers. There are poor people and wealthy people there too. It is like that in heaven and also in hell. There are the highest and the lowest. Now you children know that you are making effort to claim immense happiness. Lakshmi and Narayan had immense happiness. The main aspect is purity. Unless you have purity, you cannot receive peace or prosperity. Very good behaviour is needed for this. The behaviour of people is reformed by their purity. When people are pure, they are called deities. You have come here to become deities. 
deities are constantly happy. Human beings cannot remain happy all the time. It is the deities who have happiness. You used to worship those deities because they were pure. Everything depends on purity. It is in this that there are obstacles. People want there to be peace in the world. Baba says, without purity there can never be peace. The first and main aspect is purity. Only by having purity is one's behaviour reformed. By becoming impure, one's behaviour is spoilt. You have to understand that if you want to become deities once again, purity is definitely needed. Deities are pure, and this is why impure human beings bow down to them. The main thing is purity. People call out, O purifier, come and purify us. The father says, Lust is the greatest enemy. Conquer it. Only by conquering it will you become pure. When you were pure and sat Pradhan, there was peace and happiness. You children have now remembered that this is a matter of only yesterday. When you were pure, there was immense happiness and peace and you had everything. You now have to become like Lakshmi and Narayan again. The first and main thing in this is to become completely viceless. This is remembered. This is the sacrificial fire of knowledge. There will definitely be obstacles in this. People cause so much trouble because of purity. The devilish community and the divine community are remembered. It is in your intellects that in the golden age there were deities. Although their faces are of human beings, they are called deities. There they are completely satopradan. There are no defects there. Everything is perfect there. The father is perfect and so he also makes you children perfect. You become so pure and beautiful with the power of yoga. That traveller who comes and makes you beautiful from ugly is ever beautiful. There is natural beauty there. There is no need to make anyone beautiful. Those who are satopradan and beautiful then become ugly when they become tamopradan. The very name is Shyam Sundar, the ugly and beautiful one. Why is Sri Krishna called Shyam Sundar? No one except the father can tell you the meaning of this. No human being can tell you the things that God the father tells you. In the pictures they have shown the deities with the discus of self-realization. The father explains, Sweetest children, The deities have no need for the discus of self-realization. What would they do with the conch shell, etc.? You Brahmin children are the spinners of the discus of self-realization. You are the ones who have to blow the conch shell. You know how peace is now being established in the world. Together with that, your activity also has to be good. On the path of devotion too, you used to go in front of the idols of the deities and speak about your own behaviour. However, 
The deities do not reform your behavior. The one who reforms it is someone else. That Shiv Baba is incorporeal. You would not say to him, you are full of all virtues. The praise of Shiva is separate. People sing praise of the deities, but how can we become like them? It is souls who become pure and impure. You souls are now becoming pure. When you souls become perfect, those impure bodies will not remain. You will then go and take pure bodies. There cannot be any pure bodies here. There can only be pure bodies when even the elements are Sato Pradhan. In the new world everything is Sato Pradhan. At this time the five elements are Tamo Pradhan and this is why there continues to be so many calamities. Look how people continue to die. People go on pilgrimages etc. and if an accident takes place they die. The water, earth etc. cause so much damage. All of these elements are helping you. When there are sudden floods and storms during destruction, those are natural calamities. The bombs that people manufacture are also fixed in the drama. They cannot be called godly calamities. They are created by human beings. Earthquakes, etc. are not caused by human beings. All of those calamities come together to create lightness for the earth. You know how Baba makes you completely light and takes you with him to the new world. When your heads become light, you become very alert. Baba makes you completely light. All of your sorrow is removed. All of you now have very heavy heads and then all of you will become light, peaceful and happy. Whatever religion anyone belongs to, everyone should be happy that Baba has come to grant everyone salvation. When establishment is accomplished, all the religions will be destroyed. Previously, your intellects did not have these thoughts. You now have understanding. It is remembered that establishment took place through Brahma and that all of the innumerable religions were destroyed. Only the one father carries out this task. No one other than Shiv Baba can do it. No one can have such an alokic birth or an alokic task. The father is the highest on high and so his task is also very high. He is Karan Karavan Ha, the one who acts and inspires others to act. You relate the knowledge that the Father has come to remove from this world the burden created by sinful souls. It is remembered that the Father comes to establish one religion and to destroy the innumerable religions. You are now being made into such great souls. No one apart from the deities can be great souls. Here they call many people Mahatmas, great souls. However, only elevated souls are called Mahatmas. Heaven is called the kingdom of Rama. There is no kingdom of Ravan there and so the question of vice cannot arise there. This is why that is called the completely viceless world. 
the more full you become, the more happiness you will receive for a long time. Those who are imperfect cannot receive as much happiness. In school too, some are perfect and some are imperfect. The difference is visible. A doctor means a doctor, but some have a very small income, whereas others have a big income. In the same way, deities are deities, but there is so much difference in their status. The father comes and teaches you this elevated study. Sri Krishna is called Shyam Sundar. They even show an ugly Sri Krishna, but Sri Krishna cannot be ugly. His name and form change. When that soul becomes ugly, he has a different name, form, place and time. Everything is explained to you, and so you now understand how you entered your parts from the beginning. At first you were deities, and then from deities you became devils. The Father has also explained to you the significance of 84 births that no one else knows about. The Father himself comes and explains all the secrets to you. The Father says, My beloved children, You used to reside with me in the home. You were brothers. All were souls. There were no bodies. There was the father and you brothers. There was no other relationship. The father doesn't take rebirth. He remains in reserve according to the drama. Such is his part. The Father has also told you for how long you have been calling out. It isn't that you began calling out to him from the beginning of the Copper Age. No. You began calling out to him a long time after that. The Father makes you happy. That is, the Father gives you the inheritance of happiness. You say, Baba, we have come to you every cycle many times. This cycle continues to turn. Baba, we meet you every 5,000 years and we receive this inheritance. Baba, we meet you every 5,000 years and we receive this inheritance. All of you students are bodily beings, whereas the one who is teaching you is bodiless. This body does not belong to him. He himself is bodiless. He comes here and adopts a body. How could he teach you children without a body? He is the father of all spirits. On the path of devotion, everyone calls out to him and they truly rotate a rosary of Rudra. At the top is the flower, the tassel, and then there is the jewel bead. They are both similar. You now understand why people salute the flower first, then also those whose rosary you rotate. Do people rotate a rosary of the deities or of you? Is it a rosary of the deities or of you? It cannot be said to be of the deities. It is of the Brahmins in front of whom the father sits and teaches. From Brahmins you then become deities. You are now studying and you will attain that deity status when you go there. The rosary is of you Brahmins. It is of you who study with the Father, who make effort and become deities. 
The greatness is of the one who teaches you. The Father has served you children so much. There no one even remembers the Father. On the path of devotion you used to rotate a rosary. That flower has now come and is making you into flowers. That is, he is making you into the beads of his rosary. You are becoming beautiful. You now receive the knowledge of souls. You have the knowledge of the beginning, middle and end of the whole world in your intellects. There is praise of only you. You Brahmins sit here and make others into Brahmins like yourselves and you then make them into deities, residents of heaven. Deities reside in heaven. When you become deities, you won't have the knowledge of the past, present and future there. You Brahmin children now receive the knowledge of the past, present and future. No one else receives this knowledge. You are very, very fortunate, but Maya then makes you forget. This Baba is not teaching you. He too is a human being and is studying. This one was the last one. The number one impure one then becomes number one pure. He becomes so happy. Your aim and objective is in front of you. The Father is making you so elevated. May you have a long life. May you have a son. This too is fixed in the drama. The Father says, If I were to give these blessings, I would have to continue to give them to everyone. I come here to teach you children. All the blessings you receive are from studying. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Just as the father is perfect, you have to make yourself perfect in the same way. Imbibe purity and reform your behavior. Experience true peace and happiness. 2. Whilst keeping this knowledge of the beginning, middle and end of the world in your intellect, do the service of making people into Brahmins and then into deities. Never forget your elevated fortune. Blessing, may you be a true server and serve with your form of dana and thereby receive the fruit of instant happiness. It is very good to have enthusiasm to do service but if you do not get a chance to serve because of the circumstances do not then let your stage fall or allow upheaval to enter you. If you do not receive a chance to relate this knowledge, you can still influence others with your form of dana. You will then accumulate marks in service. The children who are embodiments of dana are true servers. They experience the fruit of instant happiness in return for their service and from everyone's blessings. Slogan Have a true heart and please the bestower, Data, the creator, Vidata. 
and the bestower of blessings, Vardata, and you will stay in spiritual pleasure.